2014 was an abnormally great year for movies. Constructing a list of my favorites was harder than it's ever been. I love all of my favorites from the year nearly equally. But for the sake of sentiment, I'm here to share my top three from 2014. Before that, though, I need to list some other truly great films that came out in 2014. Some of these made it into my top ten. Some barely missed the mark, but all of these are really great movies that you should check out. And now, onto my top three. Number three, Nightcrawler. A film that kept its messages sharp and simple, Nightcrawler is one of the most exciting dialogue-driven rides of last year. Its ideas and themes about the media and society's idea of the American dream are more relevant than ever, and Jake Gyllenhaal deserves to win Best Actor at this year's Oscars, whether he actually does or not. Number two, Boyhood. A film I've talked about previously this year, Boyhood is a film epic in scope, filmed over the course of 12 years. For such an ambitious idea, the film is surprisingly simple, as the only true semblance of a plot is watching the main character Mason grow up. The film focuses on the smaller moments that encompass life and how they affect your coming of age more than any big event ever could, and makes the two hours and forty minutes it takes to view the film very rewarding. Number one. My number one film of the year was the most intense theater experience I had from last year. I don't think I've ever left the theater so breathless as when I walked out of Whiplash. Not only is it an emotional story about how far you're willing to go for what you're passionate for, it's a music drama that plays out like a psychological thriller. Not to mention it has one of the best endings to a film I've ever seen. Whiplash is out on Blu-ray and DVD in February, and I can't recommend it enough. And now that's all for 2014. Let's all get excited for what films 2015 has to offer.